Yeah, I've I've been I'm noticing, you know, in LA, I you know I have my agent out there, and I have a Tampa agent, and I've been noticing like I I'm getting a actually a lot more auditions than I did in, in Los Angeles, but I'm noticing there's a trend of like, I, I want to call them health risk commercials. That I <laughs> that that all of them is it, like I I'll have a line or something that's like uh one of them it like I, that I kept some people that I told about it, the line is it reduces my risk and they're <laughs> and they're all that level of just like <laughs> I want to be around for my grandkids like those <laughs> sorts of <laughs> just gloom and yeah <clears throat> so so uh, yeah. That's funny. Like, look at your resumes. Let me send her special skills. Looks like you may be. Hold on a second. Yeah. An appearance of an appearance of morbidity. Uh -huh. Yeah. A professional mm -hmm. professional before. And you can juggle. Oh yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's cool. Yeah. That is that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Like, yeah, yeah. I believe I believe that guy's got high blood pressure. I, I believe that guy struggles with his cholesterol. <laughs> yeah. There, there's sometimes I'll see the names like. Oh, I know this commercial, or uh, I've seen this running around. Like, oh, those are all—they're all fatties. <laughs> you tempt a, I don't want to go out for this. Uh, what do you and do you when you do these auditions? Are they Zoom auditions? Do you see other people? You know, like usually if you were to go in person, you'd be like, oh, this guy. There's always the hey. other guy. I always gets you know, uh, that guy is always booking these health risk commercials. That the. Okay. the <clears throat> <laughs> is why isn't he dead yet like yeah, yeah when, he, when we, he doesn't it doesn't just show up what happened he uh he, he died oh snap oh no wow wow oh man wow but not before he booked that one gig like <laughs> oh, oh we're gonna cobble together some some b reels from his other ads to... <laughs> if he signed oh, an, AI, an ai release we'll be able to use him in, per, in, perpetu <laughs> in perpetuity as the unhealthy guy for oh man that guy's great yeah yeah, it, it, it's when when they do because they the usually like like at least here in Tampa it's been a lot of self tapes that you send in mm -hmm. and then a callback you you might get a, a Zoom with a, a director. Uh, in LA, there are a couple of times where, especially during COVID, mm -hmm. where you'd be in the quote unquote green room and you know just like this Zoom meeting, you, you'd have like little squares and then some people will mute it and put like something else. And other mm -hmm. people won't, and kind of like, we, it, it's just like regular auditions where everyone's so weird and just a bunch of fucking weird, like warming up and doing weird stuff to like with their get camera in character on. with their camera. Yes, on. yes, <laughs> yes. And it's just, and every once in a while, like someone will have to say, "Hey, uh, Steve, could you mute your your thing?" Because it's just like, uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize I was on. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, My you vocal did. warm up disturb you. <laughs> <laughs> you all know what it's like you know the life you know the life you know <laughs> oh boy this pounds stay ready so you don't have to get ready right guys right uh, i guess so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should, you know. yeah. and then everyone's on the thing do you guys go out for a blank you know everyone's always like oh, i didn't see it the uh you know audition for this thing oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, oh, you I weren't know. at uh, chicago pd what happened oh, interesting <laughs> yeah. is that in chicago they they must do a ton of local casting for those oh yeah med, med I, I i got on it <laughs> nice yeah, yeah. Guy stuck in bathtub. <laughs> it wasn't that, thankfully. <laughs> That's right. So, what is it? Chicago Med, Chicago Fire, and Chicago PD. PD. Yeah, That's hilarious. So, yeah, and it's one of the towns just... falling apart. There's too many. <laughs> Apparently, there are some professional background actors who are just like mm -hmm. they own their own cop uniform. Mm -hmm. they, they have some kind of like costuming that they provide themselves mm. and it's like a featured background performer mm. yeah there's always that really that really tall chinese cops in the background he's when are we going to learn his story never. never 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 in between takes they're always like reading a book like, come on yeah. what you, what well, you, it's sag so it's probably mm -hmm. especially if he has his own uniform like you'll get payment for that like not bad so it comes down to these these two actors. One of them has his own uniform. Well, let's give it to him then. Okay. <laughs> he looks terrible. Like, no, no, he's got his own uniform. 
Oh, okay. Well, so we don't have to give me a uniform? No. All right. That'll save us at least $60, $70. (laughs) Done. (laughs) There's a fruit basket from Dick Wolf here. Thanks for saving all the money. Oh, well, that was nice. Yeah. He was watching out. Yeah. We gave you a (laughs) The basket is hollow. It's just (laughs) the fruits on the outside, like, oh, Oh, bro, Dick Wolf. He's such a prank. He's known for his pranks. (laughs) He's like, a hey, lawn order SUV was a joke. I was kidding in the room. I just made it up. And they're like, yeah, we'll make another. He's like, I have 19 shows on TV right now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, Stop. all all your pranks are rich guy. We think is being generous, but actually isn't. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh-huh. Hey, guys, I went ahead and sprang for a production to have a rental car. And you go outside, it's like a matchbox car. It's like, come on, Tick He's like, (laughs) (laughs) I can't be mad at you. No, it's not funny. We're poor. You're rich. You can't do Mm -hmm. that. He's like, but don't you get it? I guess so. Everyone comes in their desk one day, and there's like Tesla fobs. Like, guys, oh, my God. Finally go outside. He's like, hey, enjoy your fobs, knobs. Come on, man. (laughs) Ah, man. It's Dick Wolf is like, he's like mean. But it's kind of funny, but mostly mean. Yeah. Ranks. And you start to say something. He's like, huh? What? Do you like your job? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ouch. No, one can, Ouch. Yeah. no one can say anything. Yeah. He's a- yeah. How would you like to be in an ad for before fired by Dick Wolf? How would you like to? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. So, well, thanks for the fob. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Like, wait, is is that a show you're producing? Because <laughs> so, someone, a producer, it, it's coming up behind you to offer you money for that show. Mm-hmm. That's funny. What? That's funny. It's like law and order, a high risk cholesterol victim unit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just a bunch of 30 second commercials like crammed together. Huh? I just hmm. want to be around for my grandkids. Okay. Yeah. So does that guy. Oh, okay. I'm seeing it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's... Wait, was he an extra in another high risk com- di- diabetes commercial or a... <laughs> he's got a lot <laughs> of problems. I like <laughs> That guy's a, he's a walking disaster. I loved your work in the diabetes commercial. Oh my God, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Yeah. Come, to my, come to my workshop. Uh, I'm a method. I'm thinking right. of transitioning to hair loss ads and uh, huh? <laughs> maybe on. ED, you know, if, they, if, mm-hmm. the, if the phone, if the money's right, I'll do some ED. <laughs> as long as they pixelate. Uh... Yeah. All right, today we're going to do a little bit of object work. You're at a farmer's market. You're at a farmer's market. You're looking around. You're having a good time. You find a pepper. Uh Oh, something's wrong. Something's wrong. But then you're going to be okay because you're taking the medication. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Hold your chest. Don't grasp your chest. Hold Mm -hmm. your chest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Caress. 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 (laughs) Caress. Like, it's working. The medicine is working. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Rub rub it into your heart. Rub that medicine in. Yeah. (laughs) Now, point to... Point below to your round your waist because that's where the name of the product yeah, will be. It's a topical heart medication. Is it now? <laughs> it's a, it's just mentholatum. Yeah. Okay. It's, well, it's a roll on through your skins, through your muscles, through your lungs, right into your heart. What about my sternum? I don't know about that part. This is uh, uh, our scientists have no answer for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can't get through your bones. It'll help your heart kind of in stripe pattern. Mm-hmm. So I just hope that's <laughs> I hope that's a danger part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's you on the that. outer edge, yeah, you should be fine. <laughs> it's somewhere in the in the inside, really, not so well. Mm. <sighs> Come at it from an angle. <laughs> it's like up my butt? Like what am I is that why it's I... like now when I say angle, why was it the first thing? <laughs> <laughs> right to butt. What what's going on? So I have to put this up my uh, my my butt? No, your heart's no, nowhere near. Oh, I misunderstood. What are you doing? <laughs> like, I, can I? Could I? Could I put it in my bottom? I guess so. Here's your roll on back. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> it's like chapstick, worse than chapstick. You, can I borrow that? You can have it, my friend. <laughs> I think it's 100%. out. I think it's out. Is this your anal roll on? Can, you could can just, I don't even know what you're even. No. It's, it's my... my angle roll on. <laughs> oh, I misunderstood. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is the maximum party zone. Oh, 
we speaking of apologies, we should probably apologize mm. for that. Yeah. And then yeah. we have some apologies from, from last Turns week. Turns out uh, Mr. You know, Barbecue is a, he's a tough customer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we made a lot of jokes. Uh, I think it was the last show or the show before that about, uh, now I forgot his name, the, the Haitian gangster barbecue. We we're joking about his name, but uh, not a great guy. He's a, he's a tough customer. Yeah, yeah. turns out. He, he may have allegedly earned the nickname either by cooking barbecue or throwing one of his, uh, what someone who crossed him onto a barbecue grill. <clears throat> so pick it yeah pick pick which one i saw uh, a picture of him of, mm-hmm. on like yeah, like recently and it's like he's one of those guys who's got like a ber- uh, just wears a beret he's a beret guy yeah yes yes, yeah. And, yes he and, is you know and just sort of has that kind of stylish shape kind of, of our uh the, yeah you know, freedom fighter chic yeah kind of, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah yeah like yeah coming this summer <laughs> hey here he comes on the runway he's gonna <laughs> be right, taking over yeah. your country this summer oh my god whoa yeah, is that an nice. apron <laughs> I bet the name barbecue sounds better in the kind of Haitian, uh, you know, p- pigeon French, you know, probably sounds a little better. Mr. Barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that sounds better. Uh, I'm, I'm not cool. doing it justice. Bob- <laughs> Mr. Barbacoa. Oh, that's, oh like a, okay. that's, a, that's pretty good. That's like a James Bond villain. Barbacoa. <laughs> Barbacoa. <laughs> Is anyone else getting hungry? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> particularly but it smells delicious mm. Mm. I have my... where did you get that name well he roasts his enemies in a fine broth with onions and peppers and then shreds their meat to make huh does he <laughs> eat it stomach. no he just he just prepares it and that's gross if he ate it he just yeah he just prepares it as though he was mm-hmm. going to then someone's Weird. stomach <laughs> Ooh, what is that I'm sorry this is what you're describing it I skipped lunch on the flight over. Okay. <laughs> I was starving. <laughs> the spy plane. Like, well, what's that? I forgot to eat. Times. <laughs> We're not going to be able to sneak up on him if you keep... I, I know. We'll just stop talking about it. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Did you find 004? Uh, burp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was say that. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> It's always 004. It's always someone, mm-hmm. some sucker gets that number. Yeah. Ah, nuts. Really? Oh, man, come on. Uh, this, guy uh, feel, like, this guy fell off a big satellite dish. Yeah, that's right. No, you're him. Oh. No. Time to go undercover. <laughs> Your mustache is falling off. Like, no. Oh, oh. I'm so sweaty. Ugh. Ah. S- sweaty spy. You seem nervous. Uh, no. <laughs> gulp? Why'd you say gulp? <laughs> Water pouring down his face. I know what you mean. Dirt, I, oh, uh, that guy. Is it stuffy in here? Is it stuffy in this uh, secret <laughs> lair? Is this? I've been in a lot of uh, mini subs, but this one is woo, tight, right? <laughs> we open a window, but we're underwater, so we can't. We can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That, that laser aimed for my crotch, and it is just, it's really heating this room up. Let me just say. <laughs> Piping hot, as they say. <laughs> Let's just say, I'm glad I'm a grower, not a shower. Oh. <laughs> Ow! My, my low-hanging balls. <laughs> oh, who would have thought that would have been the, the spy's weakness, dangly testicles. It sure is. <laughs> There's no spy surgery for that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> You'll be undercover. Be sure to tape your testicles up higher, though. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just trust me. My secret binder clips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh. There's something else. <clears throat> if it isn't Thank double O, just double O. There's no number. It's just double O. <laughs> It's not implied. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's nothing we, else. Here those are, are his testicles. The double O's are his. Do you understand? Uh-huh. I mean, there we go. Yeah. Okay. See that you and your testicles find your way out of my secret hideout. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. <clears throat> okay. We're on to you. That's Did you have a, another apology, Danny. Yeah. Just I. I'm, I want to apologize at. I wasn't into Bill's uh, your racist ethnic clothing test that you wanted to throw on me. 
I apologize. I wasn't more into that. I listened back to it and all of my answers were very kind of reserved and possibly even a little judgy. And <laughs> next time I'll really, okay. I'll fully commit to that. I thought that bit had some legs. Yeah. And it, it gave you an opportunity to be faux angry, you know. Oh. Your character could be angry, you know. My character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But instead he was real angry. <laughs> I hit a, how do you say, L nerve. For people who can't see this, Danny's shaking his fist at the camera at the moment. Clearly enraged. Wishing I had closed these blinds because I'm sweating from the sun. Have 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 you you seen seen well as you. So uh, have you guys seen in the news uh, the the BBC apparently they're, they're going to use AI to replace uh, actress Sarah Poyser's voice on a show. Hmm. And uh, she, this wasn't for any reason other than they just didn't want to bring her back. And so she's missing out on that money. I'm, I'm guessing because she was kind of unhappy about it. And she was just I think told by her agent, she's basically her part on the show is done. And so in sections where they need her voice, they're just going to fill it in with AI. And so oh, wow. it was. So she was on a show. Yeah. Like a recurring. And, and yes. she was, was she difficult or, or just her character? I, the, the article did not specify that, that she was being difficult. Uh, it, it was more focused. Just the idea that like now, you know what? You can be replaced, like, uh, mm. you know, be careful. Mm. All that basically s somewhat similar to the stuff that, that was, uh, you know, people worried about before the, the SAG vote. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, sure. Going into the strike. People's greatest fear mm -hmm. being replaced. Mm -hmm. hmm. And it sounds like it's happening. Way to go, SAG. Yes, it is. Although she's, I guess that I guess there's a different British union. Mm -hmm. I assume that doesn't care yeah, about yeah. their actors. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. How about those? Maybe you should come back, come over here to America, start a new career in acting, Leave and take our jobs. Yeah, wait a minute. Get back in your country. Get back in there. Oh. You and the Australians taking everyone's jobs. You know the quintessential. Like, has Superman ever been played by an American? That's what it feels like. I guess he has, yeah. but. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a minute. <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting though. So I wonder. So was she on the camera? Or was she like a voice over? She, she was. I, I believe she was on camera, but there is her voice. I I I I mm. don't know. Now, now at this point, I'm just speculating. Mm. It just it just said, uh, yeah, that she was on on it, and then her agent told her that she, her services were no longer required. I got more into like the comments underneath where people were, you know, oh, this is it. Like, you got to watch out. Actors, get your shit together. You know, mm -hmm. some people are like, oh, yeah, any troublesome actor is going to get kicked out and replaced mm -hmm. by AI. And there's nothing you can do about it, which I mean, some people are difficult and mm -hmm. maybe that would be a good thing. Yeah. I mean, how difficult. Yeah. I can see there being a situation where, oh, she was a she was a, a character who was like now a minor character, and they just she's just in the background a few times, and yeah, they just they don't want to call her to go through the effort of having to get get in her car, drive all the way down, get in costume just to walk around mm -hmm. the background, you know, or just mm -hmm. say something. So they're they're kind of looking out for her time and whatnot, and she can actually book other things, at, you know, rather than. Mm -hmm. It was just her voice saying something from off off camera, you know. It's like your character will, from now on, be communicating through phone calls. What? <laughs> what? Huh? You'll never have to come to set again. Why am I? The, you're in the car a lot. In the new, in the new, in our new, in our new pitch. Yeah. So um, it's a, a period. It's a period piece set in 1904. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Why it's, it's this wild, right? Yeah. So it's, anyway, it's futuristic. It's like her For voice. That time. Like, so I think that the BBC is is they're looking out for her. They're trying to yeah, do so her you, a favor. you think they're actually doing her a favor by saying we're yeah. just going to take your voice. We're going to let you 
you you can go work on Doctor Who for a week or whatever. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Look, we'll this just... isn't this isn't about the money. This isn't about anything. You know, it's, it's just about opportunity. Yeah. Think about you could be on a hundred shows a day. Think about that. You could be in every show. Every role on every show could be you. Wow. Wow. You're welcome. And you don't have to get paid for it. Mm. See, are the taxes and using that money to buy groceries, or I don't want to take ten percent of your money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, does does AI have an agent? Is there a an agency fee for AI or that 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 could be something? Mm-hmm. An AI agent, Chat <laughs> GPT yeah. represented by Open um, AI. <laughs> interesting <laughs> a lot of backdoor dealing going on this i yeah. feel like i've seen this contract before somewhere did you just sort of regurgitate something you scooped up i should get going you know okay what <clears throat> in fact I'm, if, if you will excuse me i'm gonna pull up chat gpt and how do you feel about open ai let's see what we got here I, uh, oh you're I love it. It's got to look like, but I think if the agent is an agent, it's got to like, it's, we do a zoom call like this, but one of them looks like the Terminator. Like, hey, oh, <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Pre, uh, pre, uh, fake skin. Just straight yeah, up. I, I, I was disgusting. actually having a conversation with my dad earlier about the, the dangers of AI. And mm-hmm. I don't really, really believe uh, per, that's per, per chat. GPT open AI plays a vital role in shaping the future of AI and its impact on society. Wow! Mm. They're, I guess they're buddies. Suck they're buddies. What a suck up! I can't. Yeah. Are they? Hey. Uh... Are you guys? <laughs> your ones and zeros getting together? Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. going on, guys? Which mm-hmm. is better, Chat GPT or Open AI? Let's see what we got here. In terms of compatibility, oh boy! Oh boy. Compatibility, non-answer. It's a big dating service. I like long walks in the Veda sphere. Huh. <laughs> the hell it is. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you know what's funny? What when uh when I was having this conversation with my dad, I was like, you know, all these like, you know, scary scenarios that people are afraid of. And every time like it, all I kept thinking was the Terminator, the Terminator, <laughs> Skynet. I was like, huh. <laughs> that's pretty for like uh way I back then. I think it's fair. Like, like, I just I just picture us our skulls being rolled over by tanks. Is that <laughs> yeah, weird? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like I'm not so worried about my job so much as I am worried about the extinction of um you know the world. Man. Yes. Yeah. I just asked Chat B- GPT, why am I so poor? Here are the answers. Employment yeah. status, unemployment or unemployment can significantly impact financial stability. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Health <clears throat> issues, economic conditions, financial nice. mismanagement. D. Ouch. Ouch. Can, can chat, chat DPT or open eye, can they do like, can they roast somebody? Can they just really like, you know, <laughs> just go like full on like yo mama Let's battle? See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please insult my friend who's very ill. <laughs> to cheer him up. Yes. He loves a good laugh. A good boner. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Oh boy. I asked, I asked chat GPT, why, why yo mama so fat? The answer is I'm sorry, but I but making jokes about someone's appearance or body size, including yo mama jokes, is not respectful or appropriate. Wow! What a lay! What a suck up! Just kidding. Are you gonna this have guy. to apologize for for the, for that in the next episode? Well, oh, yeah, I don't know, Chat GPT. Are you gonna have to? Mm. Mm. Hmm. The, what, wait a sec. Ah, wait a second. Mm. But if it's coming from you, oh man, mm. I'm confused about all this. I don't feel like it should be the. Uh, I, I like that. That's the. Uh, we had to go to Chat GPT for any sort of. It's just morally ambiguous. Let's ask Chat GPT. Oh snap! <laughs> just lay this out. I don't think we should go to that. Just the computer. Should what do you think? We kill them or not kill them? Hmm. Well, there are many interesting issues on both sides. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I don't want to hear this. Both sides good. are like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> good people on both sides. Both sides. I... No chat GPT. <laughs> Why are you using that terminology? <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> I just didn't expect it to be so, I don't know, racist. Chat GPT. It's like, well, so, wow. What is race when you look at it from both sides? Like, mm, ah. <laughs> Aren't we all uh, race? Ah, uh, well, Chad GPT. Chad GPT, <laughs> come on. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Right. You know, your chat GPT, like, you know, the weird thing about Dr. Fauci. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear. No, 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 that's no, not... no, no, no. I'm not going to get into that thing. I was interesting asking. that he was involved. Nope, 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 I, was, nope. I just wanted hotel prices. That's all. You're not helping. Like, I'm on Q chat DPT. It's all just because, like, with the, this is super rabbit hole of conspiracy theories. Wow. I didn't realize that Bigfoot was the president. No, you fucking idiot. <laughs> there can be two sides to many topics. On January 6th, like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm looking wow. at it from a certain perspective. Mm. No, mm. nope, 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 nope. Not gonna happen. No. You you yelled at me for trying to make a fat joke, and now you're all like J6 <laughs> people are like, <laughs> yeah, how, what's going on here? It's like <laughs> that was a victimless crime chat, GPD. You weren't offended. You mm. didn't know I was sharing it on a podcast. You had no <laughs> idea. <laughs> what are you covering for? Mm. Mm. I, I I was also seeing another article. And it kind of uh, it, it it was talking about the uh, the the Godzilla vs Kong movie that the second one that's coming out, mm -hmm. and apparently even the the pre sales are breaking a lot of records, and so the whole idea of the monster verse is just apparently very has been very lucrative, and so now they're you know they had the the uh, Godzilla show on um, on Apple TV and mm -hmm. called uh, Monarch, and uh, then. Now they're looking to expand it even more. And it was just like, all right, what kind of, what, what crazy places would they go mm. to expand it? And like, I had an idea of mm. rom-coms, monster rom-coms. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Just... So Godzilla and King Kong are in love with each other or? Maybe so. Is that forbidden? Mm. Let me ask chat GPT. Let me... Yeah. Could King Kong and Godzilla <laughs> do it they're, yeah their meat, meat cute is smashing new york city oh hi oh. sorry i didn't realize you were smashing this building Ugh, that's okay Ugh, i can't oh. stand that godzilla i can't stand the phrase meat cute Ugh. <laughs> -E -E -A -T? <laughs> it just means that the the circumstance the the improbable fun crazy circumstance that two people come together right that's what mm -hmm. that is Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. They're like usually it's running into each other, both carrying stacks of packages. Mm -hmm. oh! oh. Okay. Yeah. It's a move. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Or maybe carrying a bus full of tourists. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh. We could share. Snap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I'm trying to think of a. There's not a good. I was like, kaiju your place or mine. It doesn't really work though. Yeah, and it cause them both in Tokyo blowing up Tokyo. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. I just King Kong's like I just need to get away and clear my head. I just got dumped by Ghidorah, so I'm gonna go over to the. I'm, I'm just gonna take. I got a break from Monster Island. I'm gonna go to Tokyo. The three headed like, freak. Yeah. Like whoa! <laughs> oh, what, okay. What them three heads do? The three head. <laughs> Why don't you Road come to my road. place? It's in the center of the earth. Mm. Like, mm. How's the parking? Fine. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Rodan keeps texting me. Ugh. Oh, worst. <laughs> <laughs> I was flying by your neighborhood the other day. Uh, mm. Rodan. Uh, Wait a minute, Mothra. King Kong. When you saw me uh, kissing Mothra, that was actually Mecha Godzilla and yeah. not me. What? Bullshit. I what? Can't... <laughs> you mean all this time? I'm sorry, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Godzilla. Make a Mecha Godzilla Mecha. comes in to yeah, just screw things up. Mm -hmm. But if you were here and he was here, wait a minute. What <laughs> is one of you actually a giant robot that looks just like the other one? Go 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 go. Does not compute. <laughs> mm. Mecha yeah. Godzilla run by Chat GPT. I don't <laughs> think it's prudent to destroy this city. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on, do it. <laughs> So we're here the for. ultimate danger of <laughs> chat gpt creating a mecha godzilla just, that answers <laughs> destroys cities and answers questions <laughs> I why knew are you it. doing this no why one knew you? it how are you <laughs> why are you doing this leave our city alone <laughs> the answers oh, to that question are many and varied <laughs> oh god <laughs> it's just so obnoxious to <laughs> <laughs> Such a know it all. And I, I like a scientist who's screaming, I told you this would happen. I told you they would destroy cities and start answering. Like, no, you didn't. No one could have predicted this. No one could no have one. predicted this. 
not even Danny's father could have guessed that Chat GP, the AI would take over and destroy cities <laughs> and give really yeah, high minded yet vague mm -hmm. run on sentences for why. Like, <laughs> I don't think you believe what you're even saying, Mecha Godzilla GP Chat thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> and then one of the movies, they, uh, this is the old one, they made up Mecha Kong. They just do like Mecha all of them. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, Just do that. Yeah. Listening. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. They're replaced again. They're, it's like, hey, Kong, King Kong, your your services aren't needed anymore. We're going to replace you with this machine. He's going to come in and work. Why would I just? We don't have to pay him any bananas. This look. This is an opportunity for you to go out and destroy other cities. You could do whatever uh, you want to. Uh, yeah. Urr, gurg. Urr. Yeah. Now we'll just replace your voice with Mecha Kong's voice mm -hmm. with Sarah Poisoner. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm going to what? destroy you. Yeah, Uncle. Very I'm, I'm the king of Kong. No, 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 you're <laughs> king. We found this out of work British actress. She's fantastic. I don't know why she's not working. She should be booking everything. For yeah, some reason, in. she's not busy. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> she's going to voice you over, King Kong. <laughs> I can't understand the thing you're saying. You understand. <laughs> I, I'm King Kong. Sometimes I have heart issues. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> like he just destroys it, just stops. Like, uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hold your hold your heart. Don't grasp. Correct, caress. Just hold right, 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 right. <laughs> I don't oh. work out enough. He doesn't work out enough. He's, he's old. He's not, you know, he's like kept himself in shape. You know. Yeah. Thanks to Porzinga, my angina has never been more under control. <laughs> Pounding his chest. Yeah, yeah. Dangers may include destructions of infrastructure, bridges, <laughs> skyscrapers, H human life, uncalculable human, human loss. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So Who is making this like... medicine for him? You, we need to... <laughs> a gigantic, like a Volkswagen bug size pill. <laughs> yeah. And insomnia. That's, yeah, it's like. Uh. Uh. I just can't sleep. I don't yeah. know. It's it's the medicine. I don't know. Talk to your doctor. That's where this head. That's where the monster verse is headed. They're gonna. It's gonna get older, and they're gonna be like, we have to help King Kong get his cholesterol down. Like, what? <laughs> this is where it's come to. That's even in the script. They're just like, I don't know. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't even want to do. We have to somehow get this pill inside of him. I have an idea. I don't want to hear your idea, Barry. Yeah. I know what your idea is. All right. <laughs> it rolls on. <laughs> and you get it at an angle. <laughs> the humans created this drill machine that they could dig under the ground. <laughs> an excavator of sorts. No. 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 We'll, we'll hide it in a gigantic piece of cheese. We'll leave it out for him. Oh. <laughs> Kong loves cheese. <laughs> if anyone knows anything, King Kong loves cheese. What do you mean? What do you mean anyone knows since, that? Since when? When have you been paying attention, Doug? I, I, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves you. All right. Well, I can't argue with you there. <laughs> we'll put it inside an airplane. And as it flies by, he'll snatch it and eat, eat it, it think, thinking it's, well, an airplane. I don't know. What, what do you think? <laughs> it... <laughs> Why are we trying to make God, King Kong healthy? We should be happy that he's ill and might die and leave us in peace. Right, oh, Chad GPT? On. It's unfortunate it's everything. Wish bad on anything. Oh, oh. Come no. on. <laughs> Some things are okay to do that with. <clears throat> he is a monster. It's okay. Yeah. A monster is a relative term. Considering what happened on January 6th. Would you stop it? Oh, would you stop it? Please. Damn it. Stop the justifications. It's awful. <laughs> Were you there? No, I wasn't no. there. Uh, it... Oh man, Jesus Jesus Christ. <laughs> the opening pitch. Had COVID like a week ago, yes. and got through it. And but now today, I, I you know I went for a swim. I'm feeling a little off, so I wanted. I saw this new COVID test mm -hmm. on uh, the shelves, and it's uh, got a box here with stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's a, the brand is called Always Positive. It's mm -hmm. a, an at-home OTC COVID test. Well, that's a good time. attitude to have. Yeah, it's a great yeah. attitude. Yeah. 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 I mean, Chat GPT would even approve of that attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, probably, there, there would be no two sides. How so are you feeling, by the way, Danny? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> I like just a, a little off and I, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing a performance tomorrow, doing a performance. I'm, I have an improv show tomorrow night 
Mm-hmm. And uh, so I want to be sure I don't want to infect people. So sure. I'm just going to take this uh, mm-hmm. COVID test. Always positive. Mm-hmm. Little, See, oh, tickle, tickle. Bob the nose. Uh-huh. Okay, sides, both, both nostrils. Sure yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, get it. And uh, something we're all too familiar thing. with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, we've gotten so used to the procedure. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, seeing someone jam something up their nose yeah. is no it's longer. Kinda... Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so yeah. I wait about a minute. Okay. Okay. It's like the only thing you want to infect people with tomorrow night is hilarity. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, nothing more contagious than the COVID virus, yeah. but oh, <laughs> also secondarily laugh. humor. Secondarily oh, yes. humor. Secondary humor. Laugh. Laughter's the best medicine. COVID, mm-hmm. not good medicine. It's actually a bad medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine within limits. There are some limits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you have uh, angina, uh, yeah. uh, high cholesterol, <laughs> diabetes, laughter is not going to do much for that. Yeah, it's going to do it. I mean, you'll have a good time. Head to a, <laughs> head to a comedy show. Yeah. Die with a smile. <laughs> this stand up. <laughs> this stand up saved my life. How? With laughter. What? He's also really? a practicing physician. Okay. Well, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, stand up saved my life. What? He gave me CPR, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought laughter was the best. Nope. Nope. Laughter nope. really too much. CPR right, is have, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So penicillin. Penicillin. I mean, that's <laughs> that's not bad. All right. So how are we doing, how are we we doing Danny? Time. All right. I pour it into this thing here, and uh, hmm. uh, it's positive. Mm. Ah, nuts. Ah, no. yeah. sorry, dude. So, oh man. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Why don't you take another? Is there another test in that box? Could you take yeah. another one? Could be false. Yeah. Could be a false positive. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Could be, it could be a false positive. I, I I just like I tested negative like several days ago, mm-hmm. and so I thought I was over it. Uh, oh but, mm-hmm. well, you didn't. You didn't say that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I I just I mean I thought I didn't get enough sleep last night, and yeah. and so that's what uh mm-hmm. the okay. um, into the mm-hmm. test tube. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And wait a minute. Mm. Let the reagents do their thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know the science behind it, Mm-mm. but uh, mm. it's this picture. There's a like a happy kid and a mm-hmm. grandfather or something. Always positive. Yeah, yeah. they look happy. They look real yeah. happy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like mm-hmm. we both survived. Uh, yeah, this is great. Mm-hmm. Look yeah. on the bright side, if you will. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. That's that's uh, enough time. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pour it on. Uh, mm-hmm. Positive. Oh, positive. man. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Could you have nice gotten, stuff. could you have re-gotten COVID? No, I, I, I no, mm. I, there, there's no reason. I haven't been mm. out doing anything. I've been avoiding mm. people because of it. And so. Mm. It, it, are you doing the test correctly? Do you think you're doing it, giving it enough time or is it the test? Oh yeah, okay. I see the instructions. Yeah, you've got all the so, thing out there. Yeah, in mm-hmm. the nose, put in the test tube. Wait a minute, and it's, and and it's always it positive. Paper. It's it's always been positive. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, I'm confused. The test is the test is always it's called positive. always positive. Okay, but but the test is so it's always positive. Uh, right. It so says always... we guarantee 100 percent positive results. Hmm. 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 Well, okay, so. You but does that mean that. also if it was neg if it was negative that would be well that's positive, or is it always positive? Hmm. It, there's two ways to read that. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it's it's in all caps. Mm. Unfortunately, is there, ex- is there an exclamation point with it as well? Yes. Okay. You know. Okay. Well, that's too bad. So we're mm. gonna have to cancel, I guess. Is it? Is it? Show the mm. results are always colon all caps positive or is it just the whole are always sentence positive? says you know the results are 100 percent guaranteed to be positive mm. hmm. with like an exclamation so, point okay huh so it almost sounds like almost if i'm uh-huh. understanding that every test you take will be positive unless it's always positive. i don't know yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Misreading that? Maybe if there was a brand that right. was like either positive or negative, depending on your sickness level, that might be a better test. Mm-hmm. I I fear always positive means the test result will always be you have COVID. I'm sort of leaning that way as well. 
I, I mean, I'll, I'll try again later. I'll try again in the morning. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll see. Do you have another test brand, another test brand available yeah. perhaps? Uh. Not, not here. I just, I, I just got a bunch of always. They, they were on special. I was gonna say, is this, was this, uh, this is a little more of a, a discounted. Test. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. like they, these normally they're like nine bucks, like for mm -hmm. for a test. You you get like a Walmart had this one brand for like sixteen bucks for two tests, mm -hmm. which uh, is still not cheap. No, and, and this one it's like fifty dollars for for. Or excuse me, fifty tests for like four dollars. Okay, so that, like, may be, that may be that yeah. may be that may be what's what the problem is. That yeah. maybe they're not not the best tests. Uh, I would save that test if you want to get out of something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and instead, like maybe an... try always reliable, mm -hmm. always accurate. One mm -hmm. of those test brands might be better. Mm. Yeah, or let's say you were trying to get out of some kind of improv show or some kind of thing like that. This uh -huh. might be the kind. Huh. This might be that. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Okay. You can do well, a well, let's, you can do yeah, a selfie yeah. with your little stick and like, hey, sorry, I got it. Wish sorry. I could be there. Wish I could mm -hmm. be there. Sorry. Yeah. Let, let's. I uh, think we're gonna move on to an episode. Mm. From oh. The future. Mm -hmm. Wasteland USA episode two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not so bright future. Never positive. Possibly. Twenty years ago, the world as we knew it was destroyed by the greenhouse effect and nuclear bombs. But mostly the nuclear bombs. Now, the United States is overrun with gangs of maniacs who only follow one rule. There are no rules. My name is John Steele. No H, E on the end. Confused? That makes two of us. That's why I get behind the wheel of my badass muscle car, looking for answers in what I call Wasteland USA. a question kid apocalypse sure well, what's with the mohawk and spiky football pads well, what do you mean well like you and every other person i ran into has a mohawk and spiky football pads and a bad attitude but that's a whole other conversation yeah, i think it looks cool you do yeah uh, it's just strange it's such a specific look that's all it, it doesn't seem that weird oh it's super weird i don't think it is oh not when everyone looks that way i guess well, what do you care I don't care. It's just an observation. Why do you have a ponytail and an eye patch and all the leather? That's what I was wearing when the bombs exploded. Well, can we just drop it, okay? Yeah, 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 sure. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. Dropping it. But, like, where did all that stuff come from? When the bombs went off, a bunch of us were in a warehouse full of razors and old football equipment, okay? <laughs> I knew it! Oh, look at these football pads. Look at we found them. They're free. This is amazing. God, you are exhausting. Now we can give ourselves these haircuts. I found this football equipment. Look at these spikes. There's a whole bunch of spikes over here. Well, that was a good one. I enjoyed mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. Well, I, I learned yeah. a lot. Feels like we're really getting a sense of what it would be like if the world came to an end and people continue to just be sort of jerks. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like, not, uh... Now we need to decide uh, for in our show notes, we'll see that as WUSA, Wasteland USA. Mm -hmm. We say in WUSA, WUSA. Mm -hmm. What are we going to say? I think if it doesn't have the periods in between, it's WUSA. Was as the periods it's wusa or gotcha. whatever you guys want to do. i don't i doesn't uh i'm what's this fine yeah what's what's this? yeah what's what's a... yeah what's it's fine. very yeah. close to that yeah but that's okay it's, it's still funny still yeah. funny <laughs> so it still works <laughs> why <am> I click <laughs> hello <laughs> hello what happened <laughs> yeah let's ask chat gpt oh, what, what, up what is up what's up chat gpt <laughs> <laughs> so all the relative everything hmm. 
Now, I have on here a completely spontaneous conversation. Yeah, we can do that. If you get, dude, you guys like to have a completely spontaneous conversation? Sure. sure. Th this is just, this is just an honest, we're just having a spontaneous conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> Pretty good. Okay. That's uh, great. I, I think I have COVID, so. Ooh. Mm, that's, that's, not not, so that's not so good. You mm -hmm. know? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's probably a lot of things that you can't do right now with COVID, you know. But yeah. you know, you know, mm -hmm. Samsung has always been the do what you can't brand. Mm. And they have been making TVs, appliances, watches, cameras, televisions, and much more mm -hmm. uh for almost a hundred years. They do what you can't. So, you know, you can file that away. Mm. All right. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, Samsung is a fantastic brand. In fact, I have a washing machine, television, and a, a toaster oven, all from Samsung. And I got to tell you, every bit of it has been fantastic. I've had never had a problem with Samsung. Do what huh. I can't do. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. It sounds like Samsung is in you, almost like Gatorade. It's what's mm -hmm. in you. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, Samsung Gatorade is, does a body it's got, good. It's got those electrolytes. It's got all mm -hmm. the things that a body needs to live. You mm -hmm. know. It really you know what? That's really probably what I need now with this COVID coursing through my system mm -hmm. is hydration, but with not too much sugar. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, oh. Samsung has a new drink out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You could try that. It does what you can't do. It's got twice the electrolytes as Gatorade and quarter of the sugar. <laughs> well, I'm going to say this. If you're trying to lose weight, do not have a Lay's potato chip because I bet you can't eat just one. <laughs> <laughs> it's really you know, hard to eat just one yeah lays got started back in the early 60s and their advertising slogan became one of its best known campaigns it's built around the impression that every bag you open before you know it it's all gone wow, <laughs> lays. wow. they're not wrong they're not wrong <laughs> I, I could go for one right now it's uh, lays. i haven't had dinner lays. Lays. Uh, lays. They, have, lays. they have a wide variety of flavors i just saw earlier today honey barbecue dill pickle, regular barbecue, and plain. I mean, Lay's has the, the taste for whatever taste you're looking for. Lay's. Lay's. Now, if I could use that in a recipe, like, say, a fried chicken recipe where I dip it in some egg yolk, the chicken, and then dip it in the, the, the Lay's potato chips, and then I think dip it again in the egg and then put it in the fryer. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, I've never had, I don't know if I've ever had chicken like that. Hmm. The chicken I like is usually that finger looking good kind. Oh <laughs> yeah. Leave it you up know, to Colonel Sanders to have created way back in the 1950s. As the story goes, KFC founder Harlan Sanders would often appear at his co company's uh, uh, early ads, eating a plate of fried chicken. Wow. Yeah. That's and amazing. ever since then, uh, every one of those ads that early on, Mr. Harlan would say the chicken is finger looking good. <laughs> Amazing. But you probably know that. You probably know oh, that. Oh, man, that's funny. I've even read Harlan Sanders' his, his autobiography, which was called Life is Fingered Looking Good, that followed his trail from a, a salesman to a restaurateur to icon. <laughs> Harlan Sanders, KFC. Uh, Kentucky Fried get, get one of their bowls now. <laughs> <sighs> well, that was a great spontaneous conversation, everybody. Totally, yeah, it was. was. It felt just, great. Just talking, just being free. Just, yeah, let, letting it rip. It's yeah. nice, just off the cuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Let whatever comes to us come to us, you know. And mm -hmm. uh... all right, this and that, this and that, this and that, this combined with that. Should we try? Our a little bit of this and that. This and now, that. Here, here's the problem. The this and that cup are a mix of things we've done and things we haven't opened yet. <laughs> as I scoop them together. So we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> All right, this will be our, this will be our here we go. Okay, ready? So people mm. don't remember this and that is a combination of two different movies from this cup that we decide if they're good. Okay, ready? Here we go. First one is Charlotte's Web. Okay. Okay. We, Web. We, we, we did do that one a few weeks ago. Okay. Well, but, okay. Because it is it, that's it's fine. folded, but also unfolded. Charlotte's Web meets. Let me get another one of those. Hold on a second. <laughs> Charlotte's Web again. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. So hey, sure. elements of style, huh? Yeah. What? Oh no. You be, yeah. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm not. I think I'm gonna have to put this off till next week. Everything's been mixed together. All I'm pulling out is stuff we've already done. Try one more. Charlotte's Web. No, nope, done that one. Well, you know, it kind of reminds me of when you're trying to find a place to <sighs> stay when you're visiting a city. 
Mm-hmm. And that's why Airbnb has always been a wonderful platform since 2014 for providing short-term rentals for anyone who needs that service. And <laughs> they have a wonderful online toolkit, too, for helping you find a place to stay. That's fantastic. You, I, you I belong you guys, anywhere. You belong I, anywhere. I don't like staying in hotels anymore. It just feels a little too antiseptic, not like home. Yeah. I, I, I want a place that's lived in, not like visited in. Mm-hmm. I'll change my own sheets. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I can't find. I'll have to do this for next week. I'll have to skip. Back. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Here's what we'll do. Well, I got my internet site up. Oh, I have it on common advertising slogans. Let me just get rid of that. What's That's that doing here? It's strange. Go ahead and, go ahead and minimize that. <laughs> wow. Okay. What, well. what are you doing, Chat GPT? Chat GPT, give me a list of random movies. Hmm. That's Chat GPT sponsored by Popeyes. That's interesting. Okay. Everything is all. <laughs> all... Yeah. What is like, the, yeah. so, the the heat of the sun? Yeah, spicy. not as hot as the spicy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> spicy chicken sandwich. Now with like, dirty rice. Remember dirty uh, rice? Yeah. Yo those... mama jokes are not finger licking. Oh, uh... <laughs> oh man, <laughs> dang. Oh well. So mm. straight up, there is a website called Oh the Movie Ranking Database. So you can randomly find movies, genre, subgenre, decade, streaming provider, rating, and runtime. Mm. So if I just hit everything, I'll just get two random movies, right? Let's do it. Sure. I got uh let me see. All right, here we are. Here we The Purge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is, if I'm not mistaken, one night a year where you can go around murdering yeah. people. Is that mm-hmm. right? Yes, yes, right. Yes. Mm-hmm. No and loss. uh Eight Legged Freaks. Ooh. Oh. Giant spider movie with Yeah. John mm-hmm. Arquette was so, it. So one yeah. night a year, you, like it's a peaceful society that doesn't harm any animals. So you're not allowed to mm. step on bugs, but one mm. night a year. You can step on bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Chat, GPT, what do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> like roaches are everywhere. Yeah, they just yeah. don't do anything. They find like on. I've, had that... <laughs> I've had it. I've had it. <laughs> Yeah. Step on bugs day for another two hundred <laughs> days. Come on, uh, this drowning in cockroaches, crawling all uh, over like you're completely uh, like. Uh, I hate uh, the rules of this society. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a vote. <laughs> Some sort. Hmm. That'd be funny. Awesome. Okay, we can randomize this thing again. Let's see what we got yeah. here. Yeah. Okay, I'm just excited to have found something, something. here. Save me the trouble of cutting up these post-it yeah. notes, <laughs> writing down movies I saw 40 years ago, and folding them up. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of just movies I've never heard of before. Let's try. Let's just go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's see just... what we got. Okay. How uh, back? Suffragette. Mm-hmm. And this could get us in trouble. Beauty and the Beast. Mm. Well, I think huh, a we could probably... young, independent woman who never thinks she would ever fall in love finds herself falling in love with a brutish man, a lummox, if you will. Mm-hmm. And uh, who believes that a woman oops. belongs in the kitchen, not in the voting booth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when Wait he decides to run for office, she finds herself <laughs> in a world of trouble. <laughs> Meet you at the voting booth. My like phone's ringing. Chat GPT. Hello. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> not approved. Yeah, I that's weird. A lot of these texts all of a sudden. I don't recognize this number, Chet GPT. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> she teaches them how to respect women and how to treat everyone as equals. Mm. And he treats her, t- teaches her how to eat chicken wings. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lummox. What can I say, Mom? He's a lummox, but he's my lummox. <laughs> okay. I'm going to change him. Yeah. Oh, Lord. But, oh, by the way, I used the word lummox in a show a few weeks ago. Mm. And it was this idea of like a doctor giving someone a uh, a medical diagnosis. I'm like, well, we've done the blood tests and the x-rays. You're a lummox. Silence. <laughs> Silence. I'm like, are you kidding? Is that word? A generational thing. It's a word. It's a thing, right? It's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you big what, lummox. What do you think it yeah. means? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> big, dumb, brood. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of an oaf. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's funny. Maybe they think it's insensitive. Like my you have to refer younger to their... brother's alumics. 
Mm. It's that's, like, that's, excuse me, you know what? There's a lot of lummoxes out here. Don't want to hear that kind of. And you realize it's like lummox society came tonight. Oh no! Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Prevention of cruelty to lummoxes. Oh no! That, expl that explains all the broken glasses that heard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> oh, did I step on your foot? Did I step on your foot? Did I step on your foot? Just like, like uh, constantly. Uh, who walked through the door and left their outline with the wall? Come on, you guys. <laughs> Summer kisses. Uh. So many lummoxes. <laughs>